What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Ashley and I post cosmetology videos as well as barber videos. Today in this video I'm going to show you guys what's in my barber case, the tools that I recommend for people who want to start cutting hair. I just want to pause and take a quick second to guys tell you that there has been a lot of people in my life that are going through a lot of things and I just wanted to say if you are one of them, stay strong and be positive. As long as you have the confidence, as long as you have the drive, I really believe that anyone can do it, especially you. I know that there are a lot of people out there as well as me who have gone through a lot and who are experienced troubles or any issues that they're going through and I just want to say that keep your head held high and I know that you can do it. Hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys at the end. Okay you guys, so here I'm just showing you the overview of my barber case. So I have my clippers, trimmers, and all my other supplies. And then on the side I have stuff that I got on the side of what I got from my student kit. And there's some other stuff there too. And that's the whole barber case. So the first thing you want to have, or it's personal preference, it's up to you, but I got an apron to use so I wouldn't get any hair on top of me. Then the client cape, of course same thing, you don't want to have hair all over the client. This is just the black one, the hair cutting cape. I believe they can sell those at Sally's. Okay, first thing you want to have, especially if you want to start cutting hair, is clipper side spray or anti-school care, which disinfects the clippers, cleans it, cools it, and then it says all at the top what it does. And then this is some Andy's clipper oil to oil your clippers it's very important so your clippers or trimmers won't get rusted this is the one i got then this is a brush i got at sally's this is a specific one i got i was originally going to use this to brush off the hair while i'm cutting but i decided to use this brush for when i am cleaning my clippers or well, yeah, basically just cleaning my clippers, it really helps to get in between the blades. Okay, and then this one, this comb right here is a flat top comb, but I use it to do clipper over, uh, clipper over comb. And this is a specific brand I got. But if you aren't learning how to do clipper over comb yet, I suggest you wait till you start learning it or practice it on your own. Yep, that's the one I got. Next, next thing you want to have is a hair duster. This one has the harder bristles. You can also get the fluffier one, which I'll show you the other one that I have. But I like this one because it takes off the hair that gets stuck to the neck. So, Next thing I have in my kit is a multi-purpose comb, which really helps for sheer over comb or cutting the hair on top. And if you notice that there's two sizes, and then that there is a little pick at the top, which helps part the hair when you're cutting the hair on top. You can do many things with this. This is why it's called a multi-purpose comb. Next thing, you don't have to have this in your kit, but I got it because my cape and my Sanix strip was falling off of my client. So I had to get one of these. This is the one I got from Sally's. So it holds it all together. Then this is the hair duster that I was talking to you guys about. It's personal preference, what you guys want to use, but I have both. Um, but yeah, it's easy to clean off the hair off the client when you have a bunch of hair on, on top. Then this is the Sanex strip. You definitely want to have these in your kit because it helps keep the cape from coming in contact with the neck. And you don't want that, so Sanex strips help. 
then this is a just a plain water bottle to spray the hair down when you want to cut the hair on top then these are the professional combs that I have gotten um, they come in 12 and a 12 pack and I'll show you guys what it looks like right now but they're really good to use because if you have many clients and you need to disinfect uh, the comb before every client it's good to disinfect and then grab another clean one and then use it so this is what it looks like they're smaller than the multi-purpose combs and then I'm gonna show you right now if you see at the top that there are little numbers and they're like little guides for you to use those are all the numbers goes up to six I believe but yeah these combs work really really well and then also it's not bendable it's really sturdy and then these brushes right here I use to blow dry the top of the hair so I have two different sizes if you can tell you can use any brush you feel comfortable with but I definitely recommend that you start using or the technique to blow dry then here's just some basic duckbill clips you can use any clips that you feel comfortable with but to keep the hair from like falling down from the top so while you're cutting the bottom half of the head use the clips then these are the wall seniors I didn't have these clippers first I'll show you what I had first but these are the senior ones and I definitely recommend that you guys get these for a beginner they're really they're really heavy they're built like tanks but they work really really well that's that then these are the magic clip QC these aren't um, wireless or cordless but I and then I'm showing you that I adjusted these to my liking they're really good for beginners as well these are the ones I had in my student kit and they work really really well cut really nice and then these are the wall detailers I bought these separately or someone gifted them to me and these are really amazing I mean I just I adjusted these two but they cut really really sharp and I'll show you the other trimmers that I got in my kit which yeah I had kind of trouble with those but yeah wall detailers these are the ones that came with the other clippers just the razor edge and I, I don't know I couldn't really at first I had a trouble like holding a trimmer and using the trimmer so I really like the detailers because it's a T blade and then right here I'm showing you that it does come with the cord one cord for both of the clippers and trimmers then of course you want to have all of the guards or attachable guards to your clippers and trimmers I don't use all of them but I'm just showing you all of the ones that I have gotten in the packages that I have bought these are the trimmer uh, guards okay and then these are personal preference I like to wear gloves because I used to get hair all over my hands so gloves really help protect against that and kind of touching the skin and then this you definitely want to have if you're cutting hair at home or even in the shop uh, you can put all of your tools and implements in this tray right here push it down with the liquid and disinfects it this is a liquid that you guys want to have when you guys are cleaning your tools definitely want to have this um, it is a must-have then this is just some talc powder you really don't have to have this in your kit but I'm just showing you this is what I have then on to the sheer kit this is what I got in my student kit first we're gonna start off with the mannequin mannequin shears so if you could tell those shears are have a blue uh, top and we use those to cut the mannequin hair so we have two different shears to cut the mannequins to practice and then we had shears 
to cut the clients with. These are the shears we use to cut the clients with. If you can tell that they have all around metal. These are the Tagata shears. I don't know where these are from, but these are ones that we use. They're very sharp. They're very beginner-like or beginner-friendly. So you don't have to spend that much money on shears. Just as long as you guys practice with them. So the next shears I have in my kit are these ones right here. These are the texturizing shears. If you guys notice that they have little spikes on the shear, which help texturize the hair or even blend the bottom to the top of the hair. That's what I like to use them for. Then these are, this one here is just a swivel blade um, feather razor, I guess you can say. Um, these we use for like women's haircuts and stuff like that but I'm just showing you here that it's a swivel blade it swivels and then we also use these or I'm gonna use these on my skateboard they look like then these are the extra blades that they come with again I'm well I'm struggling here to take it out but I'll show you guys what it looks like as you can tell, they have the little teeth at the end. So they go to that razor. And that's that. So again, guys, if you guys are going through any type of struggle or issue in your life, or you want to start cutting hair or want to be a cosmetologist and people just don't support you and what you want to do, but don't give up. This channel is all about inspiring people to lift up their heads and do what they love and work really hard so that's what i want this channel to be about i mean it's going to be about cosmetology and barber videos but that's mainly what i'm here for this is why i wanted to create my channel is to inspire others thank you guys for making it all the way to the end of this video if you found this helpful in any type of way let me know down in the comments below so i know that i'm doing my job showing you guys what i have and teaching you guys as well next video should be a tutorial video um let me know what you guys want to see i'm pretty sure i want to do a braiding type of video or a haircut video so stay tuned for that um hope you guys enjoyed the video again and see you guys in the next one bye guys